I'm going to show you how I cook my flat steak or skirt steak. I'm not sure what this is, but it's steak. If you know what it is, go down in the comment section and let me know what you think this is. All right. So I have my steak here. I'm going to go ahead and season this to perfection because you know, oh my God. Anyway, all right, so I have my honey herbs right here. I'm going to be using this because this is what goes with steak and it tastes amazing. Now, if you don't have this honey rub, I mean not honey rub, if you don't have this honey herbs, just go ahead and use your regular, your regular stuff. Okay, so I'm going in with about a teaspoon. As you can see, I don't have a lot of steak in here, so I don't want to use too much or too little. All right, so I'm also going to add a little bit of salt. That's good. And I'm going to add some black pepper. Just a little bit. That's good. If you don't know, I'm going to go in with garlic powder. And then I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder. All right. Now if you have some jerk sauce, go ahead and throw that in there. So I'm just adding just a little bit of jerk sauce in there. As you can see, I don't have much in here. Then I'm going to add the minced garlic. I love garlic, so y'all know that I will go to town with my garlic. Okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and cut up some ground season in there as well. As soon as I can find my knife. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So we have some cilantro here, some good body cilantro. We're gonna go ahead and cut that up in there. Yes, some good body cilantro. <laughs> some onions. Go ahead and slice and dice these onions in there. Yo, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but cilantro, I love the smell of cilantro. I just love it. I just have this only wanna smell, you know what I mean? Then I have a piece of ginger. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that up and also add it. A piece of bell pepper, green bell pepper. some scotch bunny pepper to it, right? We can't leave all the scotch bunny pepper. So I'm not gonna add a whole lot. As you can see the pepper part, I'm not gonna add a whole lot because the kids are going to be eating it. And then I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of browning. Tablespoon should be good. Now let's go ahead and mix this up. If you feel like the spoon not doing it for you, get in there with your hand. Yeah. Rub that baby up. Let it know who's the boss. You the boss. Who's the boss? You the boss. And you control a patina. So rub it up. Yes, yes. Mm -mm. Should, I, I swear, they need to invent something where you can smell it. You can smell food through the phone. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let this sit for about a good hour or two. Just to let it marinate. So it could sweat and absorb all that um, grung season and fresh herbs and everything that I put on there. Alright guys, so I'll be back in a bit.
All right, so my steak now has been resting now for about a good two, three hours. The longer, the better. So I kind of waited. All right, so in my pot here, um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. Not too much. That should be good enough. All right, I'm gonna let that just, you know, warm up a bit before I add my meat to my pot. Alright, so my oil is hot and ready, so we're going to go ahead and add our meat. Okay, so right now I'm going to go ahead and cover this and let this sweat its own water. So it could kinda, you know, cook down with its own juice. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and cover my pot. All right, when I said it's going to create its own water, this is what I mean, all right? You see? It creates its own water. So I'm gonna just let the meat go ahead and cook down in its own natural water. Alright? So when it's time for me to add the rest of the stuff to the pot, I will come back then. Alright, so now all the water has dried out. This is exactly what you wanna see. In the same dish that you season your meat, you want to go ahead and add about a cup of water. A cup, or, a cup and a half. And you're going to add it to your pot. Okay? Now once you do that, just go ahead and mix everything to combine. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of ketchup to my pot. I have some ground season and carrots to put into the pot, but I'm not going to put it in just yet, okay? I'm also going to go ahead and add some pimento seed. Let's go ahead and mix this around. All right, so in the next 25 minutes, I'm going to come back and check on my pot. If my meat is still tough, I'm going to go ahead and add some more water to my meat. Now, when you're adding your water, add hot water, not cold water, because if you add cold water, what will happen is, it's going to shock your meat to get tough back, all right? So add hot water, all right? So I will be back when it is time to add my grunk season to my pot. Alright? Alright, so I went ahead and I added a little bit more hot water because it was not tender. I also added my sweet pepper and my carrots. So I'm going to let this cook down for another, mm, I will say about 20 minutes. Then I come back and check on my pot. And if I need to thicken my gravy, I'm going to go ahead and thicken my gravy. All right, guys, here is the final look of my skirt steak. Look at the gravy. Alright guys, 
I enjoy making this dish for you. I hope you enjoy it as well. Guys, if you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to smash that like button. Also, subscribe to your girl. Turn that notification on so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Until next time, guys. Bye.